We're about to jump in on an interview with Ray Novak from ICOM. He just started before me, but let me cover what he was just talking about. They have a special edition, 60 edition of the ID52. Is the ID52A Plus, and it comes in its own custom box, and I think that is where we jumped in at. So let's go at it. <laughs> Well, Frank, Frank did come in, so we'll get we'll get the critiques out of the way first. Yes, it is a black battery on a silver radio, all, <laughs> silver all the way back. It matches my car perfectly. Right. But there again, when you take a look at it, you, I mean, you stole my thunder there. I was talking about today's cars are multicolor anyway. Plus, you know you're going to take the BP-307 off your 705 and snap on the back of it. That way you got the, the full power all day long. Just like the 52, you got the color display, but here's where the, where the fun is, where the difference is. On the side of it, no longer a micro USB. Yes. You have the USB-C for charging, as well as offloading data, so that is the biggest difference. Uh, the other one is the Bluetooth chipset that we're using. It's now an enhanced Bluetooth chipset. So right now it's just for Android devices, but if you've got an Android device that provides you with network internet connectivity, you no longer need to tether it with a cable for access point mode or for terminal mode. So now you're wireless walking around with your, with your phone and your radio on the network. Those are primarily the biggest differences. Now, with the 60th anniversary model, if you don't want to do that, you just want to do the plus, that will be coming out in September, October time frame, but you got an extra wrist strap for the 60th edition. Uh, the, the other one will, be, will look just like your 52. If there's any firmware enhances, yeah, your older 52 would be able to do that, but the hardware changes, it's not gonna be the same. Right now, all three versions are available for purchase, the 52, the 52 plus, and then the 52, plus 60th anniversary. Now, Mike, you were playing with it earlier. What did you think about it? It's just as easy to use as every other ICOM radio. Great. I found that it's got two. I don't know if the other ones have it, but the, when it was in dual VFO, there was the, the scope uh, sweep on there. Oh, yeah. So I thought it was pretty cool. Now, you, you've fallen in love with the ID50. Yeah, very much so. You didn't get that color scope. No, I don't find with that. It's, it still does the thing. It's just not in color. Got to remember which buttons to push here. So as you can see, the, the color scope when you're in a single VFO mode. Yep. So any questions that you guys have got? You said it's already out two days ago. We started shipping two days ago, yes, right. sir. Uh, just one other thing, the guys from the DSTAR use, no, I'm sorry, dstarinfo.com, they've already got the file for this, so you can download. Um, it does quite well, and there's a lot, a little bit of RF activity around here. Yeah. All right, guys, I greatly appreciate you stopping by. Right on. Thanks, Thanks Ray. Ray.